Dallas police have identified the suspect they are trying to find for Sunday's hit and run accident that killed three people. Police say 32 year old Jesus Chavarria Vasquez was the driver who caused that deadly accident on I-635 and then ran off, also leaving his injured 12 year old son behind. Fox 4's Allison Harris is at the Dallas Police Department tonight with the hit and run investigation. Allison. Steve, Dallas police say that this suspect will be charged with three counts of manslaughter and failure to stop and render aid, not only to those three young men, but also to his own son. To take me, don't take my son. Stephen Pham has been pleading with God to take him instead of his 23-year-old son, Christopher, one of three recent college graduates killed on LBJ Freeway near the medical district in Dallas at 3.30 a.m. Sunday. I say God, not fair. Why God don't take me? I'm old. You know, dealing with one is, is horrific within itself. And to compound it three times, you know, is unimaginable. Five friends, all but one of them former UT Dallas students, were heading home from a concert in Dallas when Dallas police say the Toyota RAV4 they were in got a flat tire. Fam, 22-year-old Hugh Doan, and 23-year-old David Wynn put the flashers on and got out in the emergency lanes to change it. A man in the front passenger seat and a woman in the back stayed in the car. That's when police say 32-year-old Jesus Chavarria Vasquez hit them in his black Chevy Silver Colorado, then ran, leaving his injured 12-year-old son behind. The man who remained in the car had to be cut out. The woman is in critical condition. And Vasquez, seen here in a Dallas County mugshot from 2003 for assault, is still on the run. But we do have investigators out pounding the beat, trying to look for him. Now my son gone, but really I've been mad, but nothing I can do to bring my son back. Pham says his son was always smiling, always responsible. He was trying to get into medical school. Pham says he isn't one to say I love you often. He hopes his son knows how loved he was. Well, I don't do that, but I really, inside me, I love him. I love him anything than anything. We do not have an update on the suspect's son's condition. His mother was not involved in this crash, and she was called to the scene to be with her son. The man who was in the car is okay. The woman who was in the car is in critical condition and still in the hospital.